assembling our Mazda Speed factory dry sump and this one's been uh, set up for performance applications so we WPC treated our three sets of gears um, as well as our floating center plate. We made sure all of our oil passages were deburred and put slight radiuses on some of the internal openings just to optimize our oil flow. And then from the factory, there's also uh, grease as a sealant on some of these layers, especially this O-ring. Uh, we're gonna improve that by using uh, the Hylomar. So it's just uh, taking an already really good factory component and optimizing it for where we're gonna use it. So we've gotta build our inner pump. So we'll flip this over. And then we've got our floater plate. That's uh, why I like to WPC treat those. And uh, we've got our main drive shaft. Get our keyways in here. Get our middle driven gear. Bring that up through carefully. And then on the back side, one more keyway. I've got all this lined up previously as it's important. And then here's our inside. And then you can see the sandwich on the floater plate. And that'll drop down in. So we still need our inside front. I want to put like to put just a little bit of high Lamar around the floater plate seal. Just really picking up a tiny bit of the imperfections. Not too much, very, very minimal amount. So we got our drive shaft, keyway, middle gear. It's already pre blue lubed slightly. And then our floater plate. One more keyway. One more drive gear. And there you can see the nice stack, how that goes. And this will drop down through. We're already lubed, high Lamard. And ideally, dropping down in like that. All right, gears in place and our factory alignment pins nicely in place uh, lubed bushings a little bit of high lamar for seal and we'll carefully bring this guy down oh now we're going to uh, bring in our allens same thing uh, flat washer crush washer allen factory setup uh, eight by one two five and we're going to put a little red loctite on those as we bring them down in. All right, so two chambers together. Uh, we just need to bring in our other shaft from the other side. Um, these are just snugged. You don't want to tighten them all the way until you bring your front pump through and then tighten everything together. So we'll flip it over. Alignment pins, shaft, and we'll build the front. All right, so the uh, front Gear set is in. We're going to put the C clip in that locks it all together. There we go. And uh, blue lube the gears, bushings, acetone, the front face. So, with some blue lube on the gears, everything's set up. We can actually drop the front down on. And if everything's set up good, and it's flat washers, lock washers, nuts, and we'll lock tight those down and torque it all together. I torqued down the front side and uh, lock tighted it. And I flipped it back over because we got a torque on the back side. I like everything to 
line up and you can see right now oh beautiful buttery smooth three chamber pump WPC treated final torque down on the front you can see the blue Hylamar just peeking through and uh, I don't know if I said it earlier but I did lock tight the studs into the case and then we lock tighted the nuts down separately and then uh, we've already torqued this inside stack down so everything sh should spin beautifully and it does I would run that I'd go in my race car I'm gonna drive gear drops on the taper and the keyways in there washer has a little alignment tab locking key that lines up as well and then we drop our uh, nut on torque it down and it's pressed on there as well as nutted on there on the uh, front side notable uh, your upper one is the feed to the back of the block this is your intake from the tank and this is your out from in here going to the tank basically your scavenge from your pan there you have it one beautiful factory dry sump pump this is a regulator if you wanted to know ready to rock